One, two, three. Hello gaming community and welcome to uh, Clock Tower Part 8. Just had to have a quick look here to see which part it was. Let's see how long I've been recording for. So things have just got really suspicious sounding. I've not heard this music before. actually making me slightly uncomfortable because I don't know what's happening and it sounds like chase music <laughs> but it's not right so uh, downstairs is where we want to go because we got Dick's office key so we want to go downstairs to Dick's office right no I don't want to go up the stairs I want to refill my water actually because this music's making me a bit nervous about what's gonna happen so I want to be equipped sounds like the music that you have at like end of a Resident Evil game when like everything's going critical All right let's go to Dick's office and let's open the uh, desk key well, you're not gonna open the desk key but you yes Oh, what's this? There's a mask in that, that's kind of spooky. Book of Entities 2! In order to feed a subordinate, the murdered soul which acts as its energy source must be healed. To instigate the healing process, a sentimental item belonging to that person must be obtained. If and when the item has been found, the ruder power is boosted temporarily. The ruder portal square appears within it's found the sacred weapon necessary to vanquish the subordinate. Okay, I feel kind of like this was a wasted venture. Strange mask. I have no idea what to use that for. <laughs> what is this? There's a hole in there to use the mask. Yas. I saw it at the back then, I was like, where? It's not a wasted adventure. And is it a wasted adventure then? <laughs> right. Ah, cameras! Ooh, film cameras. Oh, there's one of those. They're, yeah. Repellent arrow! Please tell me that's not everything. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, please tell me that's not everything. Right. Film. Is that grandfather's writing? I assume so. 2nd of February, 1978. The Ruder who battle the entities are scattered all over Europe. We, the Hamiltons, are also of Ruder stock. Of this lineage, I am proud. The Ruder blood is passed down to females. My wife, Francesca, was a Ruder. In my naive youth, I did not believe any of it. I denied the presence of entities and ruders alike, preferring to believe that it was all just an old wives' tale. But then I found the book of entities, and Nancy began to sharpen her ruder powers. I finally opened my eyes to the truth and began my research. That's why he has all those old books. She's just like, this is my book now, bitch. <laughs> 13th of August, 1984. The Ruder powers first appear in a young woman's early teens, at peak at age 15. The powers then gradually diminish, usually disappearing entirely by the age of 20. For generations, the women of the Hamilton clan have spent their teens fighting against subordinates for the Ruder cause. Before marrying in their 20s, in order to produce the next generation of Ruders. Nancy is already 18. Her Ruder powers are dwindling rapidly. And it is almost time for her to pass the job on to the next female. We Hamiltons think of our Ruder blood as something of which to be proud, as well as a responsibility that must be taken very seriously. I am sad to give my beloved Nancy to another man, but it must be done. Watch her marry with a broken heart. A 
another Ruder had been born to the Hamilton household, my first grandchild. I chose for her the name Alyssa. She is bright and lively, perhaps even a little strong-willed, and yet appears somehow wise beyond her years. I pray she will grow strong and healthy and will fulfill her obligation as a noble Ruder. Well, I wouldn't be good as a Ruder because I'm 20 now. <laughs> All of my powers have been gone. A Ruder family. So, I am a Ruder. It's in my blood. Yep. The music's making me feel suspicious. It's suspicious. Leave it to me, Grandpa. I have the same Ruder strain in my blood as my mother. I can save Dorothy and Albert. Then and only then will I be able to leave this nightmare and see my mum again. I'm sure that's the way. Isn't it? He can't answer you. <laughs> He's just a picture. <laughs> okay. Well, at least we're learning a little bit about Alessa now. I actually quite like her character. Because, you know, she's she's a little bit different, you know? I like that. She's brave. God, at 15, I'd have been like, no, <laughs> fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> now, I'd be like that. <laughs> Five years down the line of being 15, I'd still be scared. I'd be scared as shit. Okay, let's go and save, actually, because I was just about to go back and I'm like, I have a feeling Pooh is about to go down. The minute we go back, I have the feeling. Right, let's do the thing. I'm just going to check how long I've been recording for properly. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Because I will have to cut some of the stuff out. <laughs> Because there's one episode where I was lost and yeah, it wasn't good. Right, let's go for it. I mean, this music's pretty cool, but like, you know, it just it make you feel a bit like something's going to happen. I've forgotten. Yep, yeah, okay, yep, yeah, that's the. Yep. Yeah. It's not the right one. Uh, I've got to try and remember where the room is. Easier said than done. I think it's down here because I remember having to run past the spatch. Uh, actually, pretty sure it's in here. Yeah, there you go. Okay. There we go. Bright light. Okay, let's do this! Because the reason I was getting nervous is because, you know, this game is very sort of... S not scheduled, it's not the right word, scripted. So, when something happens, you know it's gonna happen. Why does my chair feel all wobbly and weird? Very dark inside the manhole. Yes, yeah, very good. Right, let's go back in the house. No, you don't, you bitch. How does one straighten this? Straighten it then! Right, if she doesn't- if I don't figure out how to straighten that in the next few minutes, I'm googling it. Because this is got a redonkulous. You were going to appear there, because I don't. Uh, um, I don't see anywhere. Furniture looks ancient. I don't see anywhere where it's going to help me. So I'm just going to quickly Google it, straightening the picture, because I don't want to be stuck for ages. Normally I wouldn't do this, but you know. I don't want to be stuck forever. Because I have other things to do today. I've got schedules.
Okay, so it just says take note of that. I don't read anything other than just take note of that. So I just looked in there and I saw that we had film and there's a film camera. So I'm just wondering, I don't know how, don't you dare, don't you dare you bitch. There we go. Because when I just looked up then I was like, we have film. So I don't see why else we'd have film. Right, I'll go away. There's another photograph. Hidden door with a switch and that's the crooked picture. Okay. That's where it just that's why it said take note of the picture. Right, okay. Now it makes sense because I was like, why don't she straighten it? Okay. See, this is the thing, like, sometimes that's why I always read walkthroughs, because then it's it's harder to get, like, further by accident and, like, get to the point where you accidentally ruin it for yourself. If that makes sense? Because, like, if you skim through and you go, oop, whoops, you know, when you're reading, you can't do that. That's why I prefer to read walkthroughs so you don't mess it for yourself. So now that I'm not stuck anymore and we're making good progress and I accidentally closed my iPod and I don't know how much time I'm on this now. 13 minutes. Whoa. Apart from the other side. Now I'm getting chest pain. Oh God. Oopsie. Sodium chlorate sounds flammable. Uh, yeah. Not exactly nice stuff. Albert, are you here? Albert? Mother, what are you doing? I told you you shouldn't be around outside by yourself. I came to tell you that dinner's ready. Aww. And I told you that you don't need to be worried about me. Your old mother may have dicky eyes, but she's not on her last legs yet. Oh. She's so you lovely. just concentrate on your work. Anyway, what is it you're making this time? Some new toy that'll have the local kids a gog, I bet. Actually, I've been busy making this. Oh, Albert, what's this? Winter's coming, and I don't want Winter's really coming. Wandering around outside. I've been making this in my spare time. How is it warm enough? Oh, it's lovely. I might cry in a minute. This is so nice, and I know it's gonna go really horrible. So much. Like that. I knew it. Wow. Be horrible to be blind and going through this. Oh, what a bastard! Smashing up the toys. Oh no! Oh dear. Wow, he's really enjoying this way too much. Want to join them? I hear the acids now. Well, um, no, not really. Use it! Blind him! 
Lob it! Wretch. That's one way to escape from someone. Just throw something really vulnerable at them. Oh my god, where do I go? Run away. Here, the acid's lovely. Oh, there's Dorothy Shaw. tool to turn it okay ah toolbox so I need a key to get into the toolbox well maybe I can go inside it's a bit of a risk because I mean he might still be in here okay invisibility band which is very nice Toolbox key! There you go. What did I say, guys? Toolbox key! So, that actually scared me for a second then. Let's <laughs> run away from Mr. Evil off. Now, where's the toolbox? It's upstairs, isn't it? Okay. Oh, crap. Well, the house actually just shook. I had something fall. Oh, version point, version point, version point. Use it. Okay, maybe not then. Get up the ladder. Toolbox, toolbox, put to get with the Yes. Get it! I'm going to have to use uh, some lavender water, I think. So, I'm going to end this episode here for a moment, and then I'm going to carry it on in the next one. Take care of yourselves and the ones that you love. I will see you in the next episode.